Good morning, everybody. Lori Goldring here for an Open for Business Live on a Monday of all things, right? Good way to start off the week. And let me tell you how good it is because I am standing here at the Host Historical Society of Cheshire County. Um, I'm actually in the back entrance. It, 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 you normally would see it on Main Street. We're going to meet Andrea. She's going to tell you exactly how to get here. But I have to tell you, this is my first time here and I walked in and wow, what a surprise. Wait till you see. Um, you know what? Let me just show you. Let's turn this around and get started. All right, here we go. All right, so this is the back entrance where you can park. And I chose to come in this way because wait till you see. Uh, Historical Society, welcome. Here we go into this one. Check out this room. Check this room out. Is this not, oops, hey Andrea, how are you? Check out what you walk into. This is absolutely fabulous. Let's do a quick scan. Check this out. I had no idea this was here. I've never been here. And if you haven't been here, it's time to get in here because you have to see what is here. Check this out. Oh my God. So Andrea. Morning. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm working my way up to well, you. There's lots to look at. It sure is. <laughs> um, but what I normally like to do, have, yeah. After all this time, everybody knows, I like to start off with where the business is uh, sure. located exactly, sure. so they can GPS and get on down here. We're at 246 Main Street here in Keene, New Hampshire, right uh, next to the roundabout off mm. from Marlboro Street. Okay. So it's, parking in the back is free, and there's plenty of it, so come on down and visit. Okay. We're um, online at www.hsccnh.org, and you can also uh, come and shop at our museum store on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. Uh, Wednesday, we're open late till eight, and the rest of the week is nine to four. And it's always, and you're on, you said you're on Facebook? Yes, we're on Facebook, Instagram. Which is a good place to check yeah. hours too, yeah. and things like yeah. that. Specials and, any, and things. Like I was that. gonna say, any yeah. kind of upcoming events or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, and, a, and, and did you mention a phone number? Uh, 603-352-1895. All right, so I think we hit all. Down and we'll go through all right, I'm gonna, check, before I go there, check this out, <laughs> yeah. folks. You love trains, and oh my God, look at this. This is our Kingsbury toy collection. Oh, it's, oh my goodness, check it's this out. It's just a small piece of it. Oh, there's more? There's more. Oh my, <laughs> check this out. We have over 300,000 artifacts in our collection. Did you just say 300,000? 300, 300,000. Holy Moses. <laughs> With our largest artifact being the Wyman Tavern, which is located further down Main Street. Oh, the Wyman Tavern, yes. Check this out, check this out. This is awesome. Don't forget to say hi to Henry. Oh, hey, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> so you're taking us now. Where are we going? So we're going to pass our research library. Um, people come to do genealogy research and uh, research their homes. Oh, um, so you can research your homes here. Yep, so we can help folks with that. Mm -hmm. um, and then down the hallway here, we have the start of our museum store. Look how charming this is. Is this not? Check this out. So the trees are decorated with ornaments that are donated. Uh, and then the proceeds of those sales go to our funding our education programs and the society's mission. So you come on down and, and buy an ornament and it helps to support the historical society. And check this out. This is just the start. Wait till you see. You're in for a treat. And this isn't the main entrance, correct? This is our main street entrance, yep. Yeah. So we ask folks to use the uh, rear entrance in the back. Um, where the parking is located. Okay, check this out. That's fun. So I'll step out of your way because oh, there's check. a lot to look at. There sure <laughs> is. Check this out. This is the museum store, right? Yes. So the museum store is located on the first floor of our main building. Um, and we have items from craft vendors and local authors. Um, Mary Island has a pop-up exhibit currently for well, the holiday season. Here, check this out. You know Mary Island. Mary Island does all this beautiful... Check these paintings out. So it's just a, it's only here for a limited time is what yes. you're saying? Yep. So if you want, oh, check this Mary Island painting out. Oh, gorgeous. We have felted items and we have baskets that are made local, handcrafted carved items, Douglas cuddle toys, which everybody loves the Douglas toy. Oh my goodness, look how cute. Oh, the bear is so cute. <laughs> then you have all kinds of, look at this. And history um, books on how to use primary sources. And then there's the local history books 
Okay, I used to play with one of those down there. It's <laughs> giving away my age. Oh my, look at, check this out. So this is, you know what, this is wonderful. You can do a loom. This is awesome because it's right before the holidays. That's right. And this would be a great time to come on in and get something wonderful for friends, family, kids. You've got every, you've got it all in here. We have it all. We, and we find that we have a lot of grandparents coming um, so that they can share toys that they played with as kids with their grandchildren. How fun we have is that? craft kits um, that kids can do hands-on activities, magnets, ornaments. Uh, local history books. A new one we have is this one by uh, Kim Bar uh, Barney Chandler. She just did a program for us on the covered bridges of New Hampshire. Wow. Uh, we have our, um, Alan Rummel is our executive director, so we carry all of his books. Mm -hmm. You might just catch him so you can get an autograph while you're here. Oh, <laughs> that would be cool. Check these out. Look how cute that is. Oh. There's, I'm telling you, there's so, so many beautiful things and, you know, for everybody in here. Look, check out all these books. Oh, ghost stories. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Lewis and Clark. History of Keene. We have blown glass and uh, hand forged items um, from Langdon. Then we have cutting boards, charcuterie boards. Charcuterie is a big thing. It check is out, a big thing. Check out those beautiful boards at the bottom. And the majority of the stuff is local, right? Or all of it? Or? Almost all of it is locally sourced. Some of the toys we cannot get local. Oh, um, how pretty. But everything you're looking at right now is from Keene or Cheshire County. So you're shopping local as well? Yes. Yeah. Supporting your local artisans for Not sure. For sure is right. Oh, check that out. How cute. Even the greeting cards. Um, so we have local artisans making cards specific for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have Tree Free Greetings, which is a local company. Um, Earth Sky Water, which is out of Wilton, is another local company that we're supporting. <laughs> I love these. Everyone needs a hostess towel, right? Exactly. <laughs> that time of year where you have to have that little gift for somebody. So the mulling spices and sachets are all made local. Oh, right here. As well, yeah. Mulling. Mm. <laughs> the Look peace, hope, and believe ornaments and Santas are all made by a woman from Jaffrey. Where are those? They're right here in the greenery. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Check those out. Really nice. Oh, wow. Check these out. Are these, these like coasters? They're coasters, yeah. Cool. They're made by a company in Maine. So if we can't source something local, we try to find something made in the U.S. Mm -hmm. so those are... These are made by um, Renette. She's one of our local... Uh, crafters and she's also a trustee here at the society. Look how beautifully so done these are. These oh my gosh. Of, um, recyclable sweaters. Wow, really? Yeah. Wow. That's really interesting. And then down here we have... And in the corner here we have um, some artwork by Medora Hebert, um, Gary Custer, Alicia Drakiotis. And then and behind you when you're done. <laughs> I'm just trying to get... a lot to look at. I, I, I'm telling you, there really is. I, I'm telling you, I'm... I'm I'm, I can't tell you that I'm so excited to have come in yeah. here and I'm so excited to show everybody because it's really a hidden treasure. I really, treasure. I mean, so. So we have our railroad selections. Um, a couple years ago, we helped um, publish Iron Roads of Cheshire, uh, the Monadoc region. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a two volume set that's available here as well. And then um, Brad Blodgett had his Marion Foster's um, book that's here as well. Um, so for train lovers, we have quite a few different options. And there are some train lovers out there for sure. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Is there any, I know that, is there, did you want to speak a little bit about the um, Historical Society itself and what else is? So the Historical Society was founded in 1927. Um, it's been, um, Alan Remerle is our executive director. We have a small team of five employees. Uh, we're, so, sorry, we're six employees. So we just <laughs> added a new program coordinator. Um, so we would just love for you to come visit. See the building. It's open to the public. You don't have to be a member, but we would encourage you to become a member. Right now we're having our holiday sale, and you will receive 10% uh, off for the general public, and then 20% off if you're a member. So there's Excellent. a to being a member. And the funds that you spend here are going to fund our educational uh, programs and our mission. Excellent. Excellent. Wonderful. 
So now is the time. Come on in and yeah, buy some. Shop. And then you have it's events. So nice. You have some events and, and exhibits throughout the year. So you can always do. check out check Thank that you. out. And About 150 programs a year. Oh wow! So here in this building, in our um, other buildings, the Bruder House and the uh, Wyman Tavern. But then we also go out to schools and other community organizations. Um, so yeah, so check us out on our website. And you mentioned something I don't know, you know, for the future also as far as like for the kids and stuff like that, right? Or for um, camps or anything like that, or oh, we do kids camp. Last year we partnered with the college and we did a um, mysteries at the museum detective camp. Ooh. So we'll see. What, Jenna Carroll is our education director, so we'll see what she has that for. So time. that's that's for a yeah. later date. <laughs> And we have a camp uh, exhibit coming this summer. Nice. So that'll be fun. That's what I think, yes. Yeah, that'll be fun for people. Very to nice. So, well. Yeah. And if you can't make it here, check out our website. It's hsccnh.org, where all of our events are listed in our programming. And we also have educational resources for schools and children um, and lots of information about the wall dog murals. So if you're interested in Oh, yeah, in the that, wall dog. That's so, cool. Yeah. So lots going on. So, but a lot, if anybody's just tuning in now, which I hope they'll be able to watch this again, yeah. we're located, we're at the Historical Society here. 46 Main Street, downtown Keene. We're just this side of the Marlboro Street roundabout. And and the hours they can check, I know that you said the hours so, vary from, some, from time to so time. So the but. hours are um, Tuesday through Friday, 8 to 4. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, 9 to 4. And we're open late on Wednesday nights from 9 to 8. Okay. And the first and third Saturday of the month. Okay, and if they want to give a quick call? Yeah, 603-352-1895. Perfect. I think we've hit it all. Have we I hit think, it all? I think so. I feel like we have. <laughs> <laughs> well. It's a lot to look at. There really, so. I, it really is. I'm like looking here saying, what else can I show? Because there's just so much. Yeah, so. there's so much. So that's why the folks should come in and visit and take their time and poke around because you'll never see the same thing twice. Right, right, for sure. Yeah. Well, Andrea, thank you. thank you so, so much. I wish you happy holidays. Thank I'm going to flip this around. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, folks. Well, thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm telling you, you have to come down here. I literally walked in and went, wow. There's so much. It's a wonderful place to come and get some gifts. This is um, it's almost Christmas, right? So, uh, and it's Hanukkah kind of right now, too. And so come on down and get some, some gifts for the family, friends. I want to say thank you so much for joining me today. I wish you all a happy, healthy holidays, and I will see you next year. Bye.